I hope it's someone from this audience who gets to drive away <laughs> with a Tesla Cybertruck. So it's been an amazing uh, core challenge for us, and it's been a period of over two and a half months full of innovation and full of hard work for all the developers who participated in the core challenge. And I'm glad to have all of you guys here uh, to see who's going to win this grand prize today. Uh, so, with the Core Challenge, we challenged the developers out there to take Corio, WSO2's internal developer platform as a service, out for a spin to experience the amazing capabilities available on Corio. Uh, so, the challenge was pretty straightforward. To be eligible, you just had to deploy an app uh, with both the front end and back end into the Corio production environment. And as soon as you achieve that, you are eligible for the job. So we also gave the participants an opportunity to maximize the number of entries that uh, they have for the code challenge. So by uh, exploring Corio a bit more. So you could have integrated uh, databases, connections, multiple projects, and several other features uh, to maximize the level of entries that you have for the code challenge. So we also gave the opportunity for the participants to explore Asgardio and Ballerina integration language uh, to really uh, improve their app and get more entries into the core challenge as well. So at the end of the day, each developer or participant had the opportunity of getting a maximum of eight entries into the core challenge. So we got some really good submissions, and the developers had created some amazing apps, and they had explored Corio to uh, the maximum level. So they did put Corio to the test, and we saw how amazing and flexible Corio was to really implement real life and real world applications. So uh, today, I'm so excited that we are going to select 10 MacBook Pro winners and the grand prize winner who's going to walk away with the Tesla Cybertruck 100K. So I'm going to hand over the session to Nuan, who's going to take us through uh, the, uh, the eligible process and also the winner selection app. Over to you, Nuan. All right. Thank you. So, so let me give you a brief um, kind of an explanation of how the eligibility process went. So for those of you who had participated, you must have seen, like, once you logged into Corio during the time we had this contest running, uh, and it ended on the 30th of April, by the way. The deadline was the 30th of April. So every participant who registered themselves for the contest uh, saw a submit button on the UI, on the console. Uh, and the moment you submit your application, we basically ran a small feature to calculate the number of uh, draw entries that you were eligible to. And you could also resubmit as well till the deadline. So um, as Kaviska said, there was a minimum eligibility criteria. So for everyone who met the minimum eligibility criteria, they got one draw entry. And for every feature that they used in Corio that we had you know, recommended, such as databases, Ballerina, Ascardio, and so on, they won one additional entry each for each of those features. So we calculated all of those um, um, eligibility entries uh, for, against each participant and, and stored it in a database. And so that's all there in the database now. And on top of that, we built a small application which would then go through these eligible entries and pick 11 winners, so 10 MacBook Pro winners and one final uh, grand prize winner. So I'll, I'll launch the app now. It's running on Corio, so I'll launch, launch it now uh, through Corio and walk you through it a bit as well. So um, if I could get my 
screen on. OK, so this is basically uh, Corio. So most of you must have seen at least some parts of it during the past uh, two days. So I'm logged in. We have an organization called the uh, Code Challenge Evaluator Organization. So I'm in that organization now. We have one project in there, which is called the Villa Selection Draw. And this project has two components, which is basically a front end, which will be the UI that you will see in a bit, and a back end API that is powering that. So you have a web service, web app, and a service. So I just go into this app uh, with this component, rather. So this is that application. Um, and I'll go into this build section just to show you where the code is. So the code of this application is in this particular JIT repository. So it's open source. So for those of you who might be interested in having a look at it, you can go here. It's open source. You can have a look. So this is the back end of it. It's a Valerina program. So you can take a look at the code from here. And uh, then in here, we have the front end code. It's, it's a simple React application, nothing complicated over there. So for those of you who want, you can go in there and have a look at it. And then I'll just show you uh, the past commits, just to show you that we are running the latest commit available. So this is the latest commits done by Lakshan, who was the main developer behind this uh, application. And I'll go into the deploy section to launch this application. So it's running on dev and prod. Dev is running with a sample set of data, and prod is running with the real stuff. So this is where my application is. You can see that I'm running the same uh, commit on, on production. So I launched this application. And uh, this is it. So when I press this button, it's going to first select the 10 MacBook Pro winners. And after that, it will go, we'll go ahead and select the final winner. OK? So everyone ready? All right, so let's go ahead and pick the 10 winners. Okay. Round of applause to the ten MacBook Pro winners. Okay, so I'll go into the next step, and then let me introduce Kavishka to pick the final winner. And we have Pasido Jayavira from Germany. So a huge congratulations to Pasindu Jayavira. And I would like to invite the GM of uh, the EU region to please come on stage and uh, collect the gift on behalf of the winner. All right. So a huge thank you to all the participants who took part in the code challenge. And please be posted about uh, and keep in contact with us so that you can be tuned about the next code challenges that we are hoping to have. Thank you so much.